Hello, I'm Nariman Farvardin, President of Stevens Institute of Technology, and it is my distinct pleasure to share with you the highlights of Stevens' fall semester. The undergraduate class of 2027 was chosen from a record-breaking pool of 14,170 applications, 13% larger than last year. Similarly, a new cohort of graduate students joined our ranks, selected from a pool of 15,593 applicants, itself marking a new record that is 5% higher than last year. We also significantly improved both our undergraduate and graduate admission selectivity and academic profile of students who joined our university. We welcomed 30 new faculty members, 22 of which our tenure or tenure track, bringing our total full-time faculty count to 334. And as the semester progressed, the Stevens community came together for several notable campus events. We also welcome Dr. Giovanni Caforio, Chairman of the Board and Chief Executive Officer of Bristol Myers Squibb, as the speaker for this semester's President's Distinguished Lecture Series. Stevens Institute for Artificial Intelligence unveiled its new offices and research, while the Semser Center for Healthcare Innovation relaunched in celebration of its new interdisciplinary mission. Two of our faculty were recently recognized at the Research and Development Council of New Jersey's annual Edison Patent Awards. Professor Victor Lawrence was honored with the prestigious Science and Technology Medal and Professor Yuping Wang received a patent award in the Information Technology category. Professor Wang, along with other faculty colleagues, also recently received a $15 million contract from the U.S. Army for research and development of quantum and artificial intelligence technologies. We concluded fiscal year 2023 with $18.3 million in new gifts and pledges, slightly up from the previous year. As of mid-November, alumni and friends have contributed $5.2 million in the new fiscal year in the form of gifts and pledges. This is approximately 50% higher than the amount last year at the same time, and I hope we continue for the rest of the year at this higher rate. Our athletics teams are also racking up many successes, having already clinched three MAC Freedom Championships in field hockey, men's soccer, and women's volleyball. With such wonderful news coming from the campus, it's no wonder the world continues to take notice. In September, Stevens jumped seven spots to number 76 nationally in US News and World Report's annual best college rankings. And importantly, using a methodology that focuses on student outcomes, the learning environment and diversity, the Wall Street Journal ranked Stevens as number 36 of the nation's best colleges and universities. Our faculty continue to make news and gain recognition as thought leaders on topics ranging from the impacts of a potential government shutdown to inflation to artificial intelligence, being featured in the New York Times and Forbes and on television stations across the country. Finally, as we celebrate the holiday season, I want to express my pride and gratitude for the entire Stevens community and the care we exhibit for each other. I am in awe of the collaborative efforts of our faculty, staff, students, alumni, and friends, and I encourage us all to remain dedicated to this collegial spirit of excellence as we ring in the new year. Thank you for spending this time with me, and I wish you, your family, and friends a warm and cheerful holiday season. Thank you again.